How's it going, bro? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ode Fritz. And in this video, you're going to learn exactly how to produce Latin tech house. So what I want to start with is some sort of trumpet sample. Let's go on Latin tech house sample packs here. Let's find a good sample. Ooh, I like this one. Let's add some reverb now. So this is the beginning of the track. What I want to do now as well is add some sort of chord progression, which is also a guitar. So let's find the labs. So I came up with this guitar chord progression. So this pattern is made up of two sounds. The first one is a guitar harmonics, more for the high frequencies. And then we have also the other one, which is like the lower layer, which is the moon guitar, but one octave down. Individually, they sound like this. The other one. So let's edit now here. Now from bar five, I want to add some sort of shaker loop. So to find a good shaker loop, let's just go on the Latin Tech Volume One sample pack and find a good shaker loop. I like this one a lot. And from a house music version temple, I just add a hi hat pattern and a clap pattern. Let's now add as well a master bus reverb automation. This is a great tip, by the way, for you to like make this drop and the build up more powerful. You just basically enable this wet and dry automation from the reverb on the master channel. Like this. Now we're gonna write a kick and the bass line. Now I want to also get some really nice Spanish vocals and for that we're going to go again on the Latin Tech House sample pack. On Solar's music website you're going to find amazing sample packs, you're going to find really good presets as well. So if you want to speed up the progress of making a Tech House track or basically a Latin House music track, check out their website, just listen to a few of the sample packs, purchase one for yourself if you like it. I'm using it for this track as well. The link for that is in the description box, make sure you check them out. I really appreciate and really like those sample packs. Big thanks goes out to Soda Music. Amazing, I love it. Great, I like this one. We need to obviously change the pitch of the sample, otherwise it's not gonna fit into this, so let's put on plus 600. Now we want a second layer, so basically let's add another vocal and basically pitch it down a few semitones. This one we're gonna pitch down six semitones. I really like this one. Now let's duplicate again the kicks and the patterns here. Now we want to also add the baseline sound. For that, we're going to go into Serum. I'm going to basically use this bass for low keys preset. Together. Let's now also add a Tech House riser. Now we want to also add a crash on the drop. What I think is also really important for Latin house music is that you add some sort of bongos in the background. So let's now find another bongo sample in the sample packs and see what we have here. Uh, percussion, let's see. That's a good one, I like this one. What's really important as well that you add some sort of groove to it. So basically command A to select all the notes, option Q, and then we're gonna basically find a good groove pattern, which is just here, like a groove. 
um, quantize tool. Let's see in grooves, you go and swing 50%. Cool. Now we're gonna add this into the drop part, like just like this. On the second part of the drop, I also want to add a second layer for the Latin trumpets because the more layers you basically add, the more fuller the whole song is going to sound. If you just use one sample, it's not going to sound as good. So definitely use layers, like at the top layer, at the bottom layer, maybe EQ the bottom layer so it doesn't clash with the top layer. But like this, I want to basically add a second layer for the trumpets. Same as I did here with the vocals. What you can do as well is to add the same sample under it. What's this going to do is just going to basically be louder now. But what we want to do is we want to shift that a little bit off the grid. So it basically sounds like there is now two different like instruments playing in the same time because they're a little bit off time with each other. So before I'm going to show you, you know, the whole project, please make sure to stick until the end of this video because I'm going to explain you exactly on conclusion what is really important when you want to produce Latin house music. So let's listen to the end project. <laughs> So there's a few things you have to consider when you produce Latin Tech House. The first thing is you're choosing the right sounds. What's really typical for Latin House music is that you're using guitars, Spanish vocals, and basically trumpets as well, which basically give this really cool Latin or South American vibe to it. The second thing you definitely have to consider as well is to use good shaker loops or like bongo loops or stuff like that, because that's going to make it sound more basically Brazilian and male, more like Arigato. So I'm really grateful that I could use the sample pack of Solar Music that really helped me to basically produce this Latin Tech House track. Make sure you check them out, link for that is in the description. And if you haven't checked out this video yet, which explains exactly what makes a bass line danceable and bouncy, please make sure you check it out right now. Support me also on Spotify with my music. I've been releasing a few tracks. The last one which came out is called Enemy, which just came out last week. Check that out, add it to your playlist, and I'll see you bro in the next YouTube tutorial.